What's up guys? Welcome back to another video by your boy and today we're going to be creating a layered poncho, a KAD special I guess. And here it is on a body so you know it's got that layering, layering feel to it. And then if you do not want a certain layer you can always tuck it in. That's the great thing about this layered poncho, it's not a definite like fit or definite look. You can change it however you want to change it uh, and that's generally it but it was a lot of experimenting going into this so you know you can go any which way that you would like to for this project you do not have to copy of my variation my patterns or anything like that you guys can just have fun with it get get inspired and get creative with this project but anyways without further ado let's get straight into the tutorial all right, to start things off, let's talk about tools and materials you'll need. For tools, you'll need the standard cutting tools, pins, and of course, your sewing machine. For materials, you can use any type of fabric that has some sort of stretch to it. I do recommend to have at least two to three yards for each fabric, especially if you want to layer the poncho. You're also going to need a poncho pattern. To simplify the process, I'm just going to base the poncho pattern off the body pattern that I have. If you do not have a body pattern, you can check out my body pattern tutorial. Link will be in the video description. Now let's create a poncho pattern. You'll need only one measurement for this pattern. Measure from your shoulder down to your wrist and record this measurement. Now with your body pattern, you want to extend out the shoulder seam using the measurement that we recorded. You might need to alter the slant to your liking. Now I just followed the shoulder seam that I originally had and then I just went from there. But once you've extended out the shoulder seams, you can connect the two shoulder seams with a curve. Once you've done that, you have created a simple poncho pattern. Next we're going to cut out the poncho pieces. Lay your fabric out and double up on it by folding it over. Place your pattern over the fabric and pin it into place. Proceed to cut around the pattern. Now once you're done with all the cutting, you should end up with two pieces. Now at this point, you can cut out as much layers of fabric that you would like. Get creative and experiment with different cuts. For me, I just did three layers, kind of like how you would layer a sweater over a t-shirt and then a jacket over. I kind of wanted that same effect. So what I did, I had a curve layer. I have like this really odd cut layer, which is the gray layer. And then under, on, on top of all of that, it's this like zigzag. I don't know how to explain this, like a, like a spike look pattern. I don't know. I was just getting really creative with it. I, I was just having fun with it. Once you're done with all the cutting, we can piece together the poncho. Start with your biggest layer first and have the right side of the fabric facing up. Then take the second layer and have that piece faced up as well. Repeat this for all the layered pieces. Once you have all the pieces lined up, grab your second set of layers. This time you want to have the fabric faced down. Start with the smallest layer and the biggest layer should be at the very top. Once the pieces are properly lined up, you want to pin along the shoulder seam. Here's an overview of the pinning. Make sure everything lines up before you go ahead and finalize everything. Take the poncho to your sewing machine and do an overlock or a zigzag stitch along the shoulder seam. Make sure to always start and end with the box stitch. <laughs> All right, so hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial. I apologize for the hiatus of uploading YouTube videos. I just hit another like milestone in my life, so I'm just kind of moving up at this point. So I hope you guys are having a good, happy, or ha holidays. Holidays is the word I'm trying to look for. Hope you guys have a good one. I hope that, you know, you have the best end of the year. Have a good, happy new year. Be safe. And if you guys have not done so already, I've been uploading almost regularly, not regularly, weekly on my vlogging channel. If you guys want to check out my life. I'll put a little box here, you guys can go click it or you can go in the video description. Otherwise, you guys can follow me on Instagram if you guys, if you guys want to communicate with me. Uh, be sure to like comment on my photo or DM me. Thanks for watching guys, I love you guys as always. Remember to keep it daily and I hope to catch you guys in the next video. 